we shall reflect on the life of Saint Clement the First. Tradition has it that Saint Clement was a Jewish convert, a disciple of Saints Peter and Paul, and that he was the Clement mentioned in Saint Paul's letter to the Philippians. Saint Irenaeus of Lyons, writing towards the end of the second century, said of Saint Clement that he saw the blessed apostles and conversed with them. He had their preaching still ringing in his ears. He succeeded Saint Anacletus and was pope from the year 88 to 100, when the persecuting Emperor Trajan exiled him to the Crimea. There he became the consolation of some 2,000 fellow Christians. He said, God has granted me a grace of which I was not worthy. According to the legend, he was cast into the sea and drowned. Clement's writings were universally held in great admiration and were read on Sundays in the churches of both the East and the West. His famous letter to the Corinthians, written in the year 96, forms one of the most valuable and important documents which have come down to us from early Christian times, when a violent faction in the Corinthian church had defied and expelled the clergy, Pope Clement appealed to their charity and sense of discipline to overcome the jealousy which had been the cause of much internal strife. This is the earliest known papal decree and by its tone of authority already clearly shows the supremacy of Rome. Saint Clement is named third in the canon of the Mass after the Apostles. He is the patron of Marinus and Stonecutters.